Welcome, travel enthusiasts, to a whirlwind tour of the top 10 most beautiful cities in France. From the coastal charm of the Mediterranean to the grandeur of historical metropolises, each city in this list presents a unique facet of the French allure. France, a country steeped in history and culture, is home to an array of stunning cities, each with its own distinct character. It's no secret that this nation is a treasure trove of architectural wonders, artful masterpieces, and culinary delights. But beyond the iconic Eiffel Tower and the romantic Seine River lies a diverse landscape of cities waiting to be explored. Our countdown begins with a selection of cities that are as varied as they are beautiful. From the medieval magic of Carcassonne to the vibrant life of Marseille, each city on this list has earned its spot through a unique blend of history, culture, and breathtaking scenery. We'll visit the coastal beauty of Nice, where the azure waters of the Mediterranean meet the elegance of French Riviera living. We'll journey to the historic splendor of Lyon, renowned for its ancient Roman ruins and a food scene that will tantalize your taste buds. The artistic legacy of Aix-en-Provence will be our next stop, a city that has inspired countless artists with its sun-drenched landscapes and charming streets. We'll also explore the alpine majesty of Annecy, a picture-perfect city nestled among the clear blue lakes and towering peaks of the French Alps. And of course, no tour of France would be complete without a visit to the enchanting city of light Paris. But before we reach the crown jewel of French cities, we have a few more stops to make, including the grandeur of Bordeaux and the unforgettable charm of Saint-Malo. So sit back, relax, and let us transport you to the heart of France, one city at a time. Prepare to embark on a captivating journey, starting with our number 10 city. At number 10, we find Strasbourg, a city of fascinating contrasts. Strasbourg, nestled in the heart of Europe, is a captivating blend of French and German cultures. It's a place where the old and the new exist side by side, creating an atmosphere that's both unique and enchanting. As you navigate through the city, you'll find yourself immersed in a rich tapestry of diverse influences, from the region's cuisine to its architecture. The city's vibrant cultural scene is deeply rooted in its Franco-German heritage. This blend of cultures is evident in every corner of the city, from the charming half-timbered houses that line the streets to the delightful Alsatian cuisine that fills the air with irresistible aromas. One of the city's most iconic landmarks is the Strasbourg Cathedral. Towering over the city with its intricate Gothic architecture, the cathedral is a testament to the city's rich history and artistic prowess. The cathedral's stunning facade, adorned with sculptures, is a sight to behold. As you step inside, you're greeted by the cathedral's remarkable astronomical clock, a masterpiece of Renaissance engineering. No visit to Strasbourg would be complete without a stroll through the Petite France district. This historic quarter with its narrow winding streets and beautiful canals is a living postcard of Strasbourg's past. Petite France is a place where time seems to stand still with its fairy tale like half timbered houses, quaint shops and picturesque bridges. It's a place that perfectly encapsulates the charm of Strasbourg. As you walk through Strasbourg, you'll find that the city is more than just a blend of French and German cultures. It's a place where history and modernity coexist. From the cobblestone streets of Petite France to the innovative European institutions that call the city home, Strasbourg is a city that embraces its past while looking towards the future. Strasbourg, a city where history and modernity coexist, concludes our first stop. Next, at number 9, we explore Nice, the jewel of the French Riviera. Sitting pretty on the southeastern coast of France, Nice is a city that truly lives up to its name. It's a place where the sun seems to shine a little brighter, the sea sparkles a little clearer, and life is lived with a little more zest. The first thing that strikes you about Nice is its stunning beaches. Imagine miles and miles of pebbly shores lapped by the azure waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Here, sunbathers bask in the radiant Riviera sunshine and swimmers delight in the sea's refreshing embrace. These aren't just beaches, they're a lifestyle, a statement of the city's laid-back and sun-soaked way of life. But as the sun dips below the horizon, Nice transforms. Its vibrant nightlife comes alive, pulsating with energy and excitement. From swanky waterfront bars to cozy jazz clubs tucked away in narrow lanes, there's a place for every mood and every taste. The city hums with music, laughter, and the clink of glasses, as locals and visitors alike enjoy the Riviera's renowned hospitality. Yet, amidst the modern bustle, Nice's history remains beautifully preserved. 
The old town, or Vieux Nice, is a labyrinth of narrow, winding alleys, brimming with pastel-colored buildings that date back centuries. Here, the aroma of freshly baked bread mingles with the scent of the sea, as traditional boulangeries stand shoulder to shoulder with seafood restaurants. It's a place where every corner turned reveals a new surprise, be it a quaint courtyard, a vibrant market, or a stunning Baroque church. Nice is more than just a city, it's a sensory experience. It's the taste of a crisp rose as you watch the sunset, the sound of waves gently lapping against the shore, the sight of the city's pastel skyline against the azure sea. Nice, a city that combines sun-soaked relaxation with rich cultural experiences, wraps up our second stop. Moving on to number eight, we delve into Lyon, a city steeped in history and a melting pot of culinary wonders. This city, located in the Auvergne Rhone Alpes region in eastern France, is a marvel of ancient and modern architecture, all nestled between two rivers, the Rhone and Seine. Let's start by stepping back in time to Lyon's Roman history. Founded by the Romans in the first century BC as the city of Lugdunum, Lyon quickly flourished into a thriving metropolis. The remnants of this era are still visible today in the form of the ancient theater of Fourvière, one of the oldest theaters in France, which once echoed with the voices of Roman actors. But Lyon isn't just about ancient history, it's also the gastronomic capital of France and some would argue, the world. This city is a dream come true for food lovers, with over 2,000 restaurants serving everything from traditional Lyonnaise fare to innovative fusion cuisine. Its bustling food markets, like the famous Le Halle de Lyon Paul Bocuse, are a testament to the city's foodie culture. Finally, let's not forget the stunning Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvière. Perched atop Fourvière Hill, this basilica is a masterpiece of 19th century French ecclesiastical architecture. Its intricate mosaics and breathtaking views of the city are just a few reasons why it's a must-visit destination. Lyon is a city that tells a story. It's a place where ancient Roman ruins coexist with cutting-edge culinary innovation, where winding medieval alleyways lead to vibrant modern squares. It's a city that wears its history proudly, but isn't afraid to embrace the new. So, whether you're a history buff, a food enthusiast, or simply love exploring beautiful cities, Lyon has something to offer. With its rich history, gastronomic reputation, and stunning landmarks like the Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvière, Lyon is a city that invites you to stay a while, to wander, to explore, and most importantly, to savor. Lyon, a gastronomic and historical treasure, concludes our third stop. But don't worry, we're just getting started. The beauty of France continues to unfold in our next destination. At number seven, we journey through time in Carcassonne, a medieval dream. Nestled within the heart of France's Languedoc region, Carcassonne beckons with its preserved medieval city. This enchanting fortress town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a living testament to the Middle Ages. The city's crowning glory, La Cité, is a well-preserved medieval fortress that has watched over the region from its hilltop perch for more than a thousand years. Encircled by double walls stretching nearly two miles and punctuated by 52 watchtowers, La Cité is an awe-inspiring sight to behold. As you wander through the narrow, winding cobblestone streets, you'll be transported back to a time of knights and castles. Each stone, each tower, and each archway has a tale to tell. The Basilica of Saint-Nazaire, a gem of Gothic architecture nestled within La Cité, enchants with its intricate stained glass windows and the melodious peal of its ancient bells. But Carcassonne is not just about the past. Beyond its medieval wonders, it's a vibrant city teeming with life. The lower town, or Villebasse, hums with the rhythm of modern life, its streets lined with inviting cafes, bustling markets, and quaint boutiques. Here, the present and past coexist harmoniously, creating a unique blend of history and modernity. Carcassonne's magic extends to its culinary scene as well. The region is famous for its cassoulet, a hearty stew of beans and meat that's as rich and complex as the city's history. Pair it with a glass of local wine, and you have a meal fit for a king, or at least a medieval knight. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie, or just a wanderer in search of beauty, Carcassonne has something for you. Its well-preserved medieval city, formidable fortress, and charming cobblestone streets make it a destination that's both a journey back in time and an exploration of the vibrant present. Carcassonne, a step back in time, wraps up our fourth stop. Next, at number six, we find Aix-en-Provence, a city that breathes art and culture. Aix-en-Provence, or simply Aix, is a city that resonates with a symphony of colors, textures, and vibrant life. 
It's a place where every corner, every street whispers tales of its rich artistic legacy. But what makes Aix an absolute gem in the heart of France is its profound connection with the celebrated artist, Paul Cezanne. As a native of Aix, Cezanne found his muse in the city's stunning landscapes and daily life. His work, deeply rooted in the essence of Aix, has in turn left an indelible mark on the city. Today, you can follow the Cezanne Trail, a journey through the artist's life and work, feeling the pulse of his inspiration with every step. Yet, the artistic spirit of Aix doesn't end with Cezanne. The city itself is a canvas, blending the past and present in a harmonious tableau. The Old Town, or Vialle Aix, is a testament to this. Amidst the narrow winding lanes, you'll find a tapestry of elegant 17th and 18th century mansions, punctuated by quaint plazas, babbling fountains, and a flurry of cafes and boutiques. It's as if time has stood still, allowing history to breathe through the city's cobblestone veins. And let's not forget the bustling markets of Aix. From fresh local produce and aromatic herbs to handcrafted ceramics and textiles, the markets are a sensory feast. They hum with the rhythm of everyday life, offering a slice of the city's heart and soul. As the sun bathes the city in a warm glow, the markets come alive, mirroring the vibrant palette of a Cezanne masterpiece. Indeed, Aix-en-Provence is more than just a city. It's a living gallery, a testament to the enduring power of art and culture. Its charm lies not just in its picturesque landscapes or historical edifices, but in the way it seamlessly weaves art into the fabric of everyday life. Aix-en-Provence, a city steeped in art and tradition, concludes our fifth stop. Moving on to number five, we discover Annecy, the Venice of the Alps. This enchanting city is nestled in the heart of the French Alps, a gem that sparkles with the brilliance of its lakeside setting. Imagine a city where crystal clear waters meet snow-capped peaks, where a lake of stunning tranquility mirrors the majesty of the surrounding mountains. This is Annecy, a city that gracefully straddles the line between the aquatic and the alpine. But Annecy is not just a city of natural beauty. It's a city with a rich and intriguing history, a city that has stood the test of time. As we wander through the cobblestone streets of the old town, we're transported back centuries. The charming pastel-colored houses, the labyrinthine canals and the vibrant market squares all whisper tales of yesteryears. And then, standing sentinel over this delightful city, we find the Chateau d'Annecy. This imposing castle, with its turrets reaching for the alpine skies, has been a part of Annecy's skyline for over seven centuries. Today, it houses a museum, offering a fascinating journey through the region's history and art. But what truly sets Annecy apart is its atmosphere. It's a city that invites you to slow down, to breathe in the mountain air, and to lose yourself in its enchanting beauty. Whether you're strolling along the canals, relaxing by the lakeside, or exploring the castle, there's a sense of tranquility that permeates this alpine city. And as the sun sets over the lake, casting the city in a golden glow, you'll find yourself falling under Annecy's spell. The city lights reflecting off the water, the sound of laughter echoing from the cafe terraces, the scent of fresh mountain air. It's an experience that stays with you, a memory etched into your heart. Annecy, a city of alpine beauty and charm, wraps up our sixth stop. And as we bid farewell to this alpine paradise, we carry with us a piece of its magic, a reminder of the captivating beauty and charm that is Annecy. At number four, we immerse ourselves in Marseille, a city of vibrant life and culture. Marseille, France's oldest city, is a melting pot of cultures and traditions that have shaped its unique character over the centuries. It sits proudly on the Mediterranean coast, a beacon of diversity and vibrancy that never fails to captivate. At the heart of Marseille is its bustling port, a hive of activity where fishermen bring their daily catch to the market. The port is the city's lifeblood, a testament to Marseille's enduring maritime heritage. Here, the aroma of fresh fish mingles with the salty sea breeze, painting a vivid picture of the city's seafaring soul. But Marseille is not just about the sea. It's a city where the old and the new coexist harmoniously. Ancient architecture rubs shoulders with modern buildings, creating a fascinating mosaic of styles and eras. The city's multicultural vibe is palpable, reflected in its diverse cuisine, music, and art. A stone's throw from the city center, perched atop the highest natural point in Marseille, stands the impressive Notre Dame de la Garde. This iconic basilica, affectionately known as the Good Mother, watches over the city with a loving gaze. 
Its golden statue glistening against the blue Mediterranean sky is a sight to behold. The basilica is not just a religious symbol, but a testament to the city's resilience and spirit. Marseille's vibrant life is felt in its streets, where lively markets, colorful graffiti, and the laughter of locals create a symphony of sounds and sights. The city's energy is infectious, drawing you into its rhythm, making you feel as if you're part of its story. But of course, Marseille's allure lies not just in its physical attributes, but in the warmth and friendliness of its people. The Marseillais, with their distinct accent and passionate love for their city, are the heart and soul of Marseille. They embody the city's spirit of diversity and dynamism. Marseille, a city of diversity and dynamism, concludes our seventh stop. Next at number three, we explore Bordeaux, a city of grandeur and fine wine. Let's uncork the essence of Bordeaux, a city that is synonymous with the world's finest wines. Here, wine is not just a drink, but a way of life, a cultural heritage that has been perfected over centuries. Bordeaux's wine culture is a vibrant tapestry woven with countless vineyards, prestigious wine chateaus, and the world-renowned Bordeaux Wine Museum. A visit to Bordeaux is incomplete without a taste of its exquisite wines, a sensory journey that dances between tradition and innovation. But Bordeaux is not just about wine. It's a city where every corner whispers a tale of history. Every stone bears the mark of time. The city's neoclassical architecture is a testament to its rich past. Grandiose buildings with intricate detailing line the streets, with the majestic Palais Rohan standing as a symbol of Bordeaux's architectural grandeur. This city is a living museum, its buildings narrating stories of epics gone by. At the heart of Bordeaux, you'll find the stunning Place de la Bourse, a spectacular square that is the epitome of the city's elegance. Flanked by the Garonne River on one side and Grand 18th century buildings on the other, it's a place that perfectly encapsulates the city's charm. At dusk, the square transforms into a magical spectacle as the Miroir d'eau, the world's largest reflecting pool, mirrors the golden hues of the setting sun and the twinkling city lights. Bordeaux is a city that marries the old with the new, the traditional with the modern. Its streets thrum with a vibrant energy, with chic boutiques, bustling markets, and gastronomic delights waiting to be discovered. But amidst the hustle and bustle, Bordeaux retains a sense of tranquility, an air of sophistication that sets it apart. It's a city where beauty unfolds in every season, where every moment is a celebration of life. Bordeaux, a city of elegance and epicurean delights, wraps up our eighth stop. Moving on to number two, we find Paris, the enchanting city of light. Paris, a city known for its timeless beauty and historic charm, is often considered the heart of France. It's not just the capital, it's a symbol of love, art, and gastronomy. Paris has a unique allure that has captured the hearts of travelers, artists, and dreamers for centuries. Imagine strolling along the Seine River, the heartbeat of the city, as it winds through Paris, connecting its many iconic landmarks. The Eiffel Tower, an architectural marvel, rises majestically above the cityscape. It's more than just a monument. It's the embodiment of French elegance and a beacon illuminating the Parisian night. Then there's the Louvre, a treasure trove of art and history. It's not just a museum, it's a testament to human creativity and ingenuity. The Louvre houses thousands of works of art, from the enigmatic smile of the Mona Lisa to the timeless beauty of the Venus de Milo. Venture into the charming Montmartre district and you'll find yourself immersed in a world of artistic heritage and bohemian charm. It's a neighborhood where every corner has a story to tell, where every cobblestone street echoes with the footsteps of great artists like Picasso and Van Gogh. Paris is also a city of romance, from the intimate cafes in the Latin Quarter to the picturesque bridges over the Seine, every aspect of Paris seems to whisper tales of love. It's a city where you can lose yourself in the beauty of the moment, where every sunset paints a picture of romance against the canvas of the city. But Paris is not just about the past. It's a city that continues to inspire, innovate, and evolve. It's a city that blends tradition and modernity, where centuries-old architecture stands side by side with cutting-edge fashion and design. Paris, a city of romance and endless allure, concludes our ninth stop. But remember, the journey is not over yet. There's still one more city to discover in our countdown of the most beautiful cities in France. So stay tuned and let's continue our journey together. Finally, at number one, we reveal Saint-Malo, a city of unforgettable charm and beauty. Imagine a city that seems to rise from the sea, encircled by sturdy stone walls that have stood the test of time. 
Yes, we're talking about the stunning city walls of Saint-Malo, from the Grand Port Saint-Vincent to the majestic Bastion de la Hollande. These walls tell a story of resilience and strength, a testimony to the city's tumultuous past. But Saint-Malo isn't just about its walls. It's a city steeped in maritime history, a legacy that echoes through its cobbled streets. Picture a time when audacious privateers and intrepid explorers set sail from this very port, their eyes filled with dreams of distant lands and untold riches. They left their mark on the city, from the grand shipowners' houses in the Intramuros to the iconic Solidor Tower, a sentinel overlooking the Rance estuary. And who could forget the beautiful sandy beaches of Saint-Malo? Whether it's the vast expanse of the Sion Beach with its rows of picturesque beach huts, or the secluded Bon Secours Beach tucked away beneath the city walls, there's a spot for every beach lover. Feel the soft sand between your toes, the salty breeze in your hair, and the gentle rhythm of the waves, a soothing symphony of nature's finest melodies. But there's more to Saint-Malo than what meets the eye. It's a city that brims with life, from the bustling local markets teeming with fresh produce to the vibrant festivals that fill the air with music and laughter. It's a city that invites you to explore, to discover, to immerse yourself in its rich tapestry of history and culture. And so we reach the end of our journey, a journey that has taken us through the winding streets of Strasbourg, the sun-kissed coast of Nice, the grand boulevards of Paris, and now the formidable walls of Saint-Malo. Saint-Malo, a city that captures the heart and soul of France, wraps up our journey. And what a journey it has been. What a journey we've been on, exploring the top 10 most beautiful cities in France. We kicked off our adventure in the captivating city of Strasbourg. There, we discovered its unique charm where German and French cultures intertwine harmoniously, reflected in the architecture, cuisine, and even the language. Then we moved on to the coastal beauty of Nice. Nestled on the French Riviera, it dazzled us with its azure waters and vibrant lifestyle, a true embodiment of the joie de vivre. From there, we ventured into the historic heart of France, Lyon. With its Renaissance architecture and world-renowned gastronomy, it was a feast for both our eyes and our taste buds. Our journey then transported us back in time in the medieval city of Carcassonne. Its fortified citadel and cobblestone streets echoed tales of knights and princesses, making us feel like we had stepped into a fairy tale. Aix-en-Provence was next, dazzling us with its artistic legacy. The city, which was once home to post-impressionist painter Paul Cézanne, continues to inspire with its vibrant art scene. We then marveled at the alpine majesty of Annecy. With its pristine lake and snow-capped mountains, it was a refreshing change of scenery and a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. Our adventure continued in the vibrant city of Marseille. Its bustling port, diverse culture, and lively street life made us feel the pulse of France's oldest city. Then, we experienced the grandeur of Bordeaux. Famous for its world-class wines, it also surprised us with its elegant architecture and the stunning Garonne River. And who could forget our visit to the enchanting city of light Paris? Its iconic landmarks from the Eiffel Tower to the Louvre left us in awe and reminded us why it's considered one of the most romantic cities in the world. Finally, we concluded our journey in the unforgettable coastal city of Saint-Malo. Its dramatic tides, historic fortifications, and breathtaking views of the English Channel were the perfect finale to our French adventure. Thank you for joining us on this journey across France, and remember, the world is waiting for you to explore.